Commercial transport operators in Ogun State have begun the data capturing exercise to enable them benefit from the federal government COVID-19 survival funds for transporters. The exercise was conducted by the Road Transport Employers of Nigeria, Ogun State Chapter, at the Association Secretariat in Abekuta, the state capital. Details in this report. The federal government had announced an intervention grant for micro-transport operators under its Survival Fund for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSMEs, to mitigate the effect of a COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking to John List while monitoring the exercise, the stage chairman of Retian, Titilayo Akibu, commends the federal government for the initiative. He says the grant would go a long way in cushioning the effect of a COVID-19 lockdown on his members. Akibo, who was represented by Tiwalade Akimbade, laments that commercial transport operators recorded huge loss during the lockdown, forcing many of them out of business. We transporters, firstly, there was total lockdown. Before total lockdown, there was interstate lockdown. So our vehicles cannot move from one place to another. It affects us, and we are not salary earners. When we go out in the morning, we go to source for what we will eat that day. So it's, uh, it's something when we go out that we can see what to eat at night and for our family. So it affects us. The, the amount, as we are hearing it, they said is 30,000 per head, but it's something. They give us recognition. If they don't do it, what will we do? Our King Bade says 500 members of the association have been carefully selected from all the 20 local government areas of the state. He thanks the federal government for the gesture, stressing that the union will reciprocate by ensuring the transporters in the state adhere strictly to the stipulated safety protocols. We can pray for the federal government that God will be with them. You know, the uh, situation of the country is, is not what we, uh, we requested for when we wanted to uh, elect the present government, but we know they are trying and, you know, uh, the only thing that we can do to reciprocate is to pray for the government and we too we are doing what we can do for humanity to for other people to benefit so that's how we can reciprocate. Thank God for being in this uh, in this uh, this uh, project of federal government and uh, it, it, it's you know it's a welcome idea we really thank federal government for this for making this thing happen because it's a kind of suppressing, uh, you know, people's anger towards this uh, lockdown and uh, every other thing. Some of the beneficiaries who also spoke to journalists described the initiative as timely and commendable. If you look at the situation of the country now, especially after the COVID-19 uh, epidemic, so at least every economy has been affected, especially the transport sector. And since the government has deemed it fit to assist us, so it will help us in our business. I'm really, I'm very happy about it because we passed with a lot of difficulties during that COVID-19 period. So we thank government for what they did for us about this thing. I really appreciate it. The beneficiaries will get a 30,000 Naira grant each under the scheme tagged Transport Truck. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.